What is superstructure on a ship? A superstructure is an extended construction of any building or platform that rises above the rest of the building or platform in a distinct manner. The word comes from a combination of two Latin words. The Latin prefix super means in addition or above or in excess of, whereas the stem word structure means to build or to heap up. Thus, superstructure means to add a construction to an already existing structure. In ships, this is the name given to the part of the ship that emerges from the deck. However, any mast, sails, any armaments or arsenal are not included in this category. The size of the superstructure has a great influence on the mobility of the vessels. They were designed in a manner so that they add value and hinder the speed and mobility in the least. The superstructure is mostly designed in fashion as well. This is because it is the most easily visible part of the ship. In fact, it is the identification of the ship, and so the designers tried to provide it with the identity that is unique. The design may differ from ship to ship. Therefore, in some ships we may find it to be sticking out vertically and strongly from a relatively flat deck. The best examples of these are the aircraft carriers. These are huge in size and have a vast and flat deck that also acts as the runway for the aircrafts to take off and land. The lone standing constructed figure acts a multipurpose center. It is a control tower of the aircrafts. It is the operational center for all the activities on the vessel. And it is also the workstation of a majority of the technical staff. Therefore, a superstructure serves many purposes. In many ships, the superstructure is broader and bigger in size and area. For example, the structure of a cruise ship is extended from the base that is flat and covers the entire deck in many layers or floors. The extended structure would be spread all over the lower floors with a few floors added on the top. At the final extension, one would find a towering construction which would act the crown of the beautiful vessel. Most of the cruise liners and passenger ships opt for this design because apart from beautifying the vessel, it provides with precious space and room for the passengers. In addition to the living accommodation, there are many other activities and recreational exercises that require space. Thus, the elevated broad superstructure is the most suitable solution to the need as well as design. In most cases, such constructions and designs add another dimension to the engineering aspect of the vessel as well. It gives it stability and strength. But the best part is that it gives a lot of options to the engineers and the construction designers regarding the technical base of the ship and the betterment of it. Superstructure has gradually become a necessity in modern sea carriers. Why is the superstructure on a cargo ship built at the aft part? Technically, any structure above upper deck is a superstructure. Ships do have many superstructures for various commercial and operational reasons. However, most of the cargo ships have one superstructure. Traditional bulk carriers, tankers, product carriers, and multipurpose carriers have superstructures placed aft above machinery space. Container ships have flexibility of placing superstructure aft, midship, or forward based on their sizes. Normally, placement is affected by stability or trim issues. Row row ships have small superstructure placed on top of cargo deck and navigation bridge is placed forward. It is like a single floor arrangement. The most important factor for placing superstructure is visibility for navigation. This will supersede all other considerations. The different purposes of superstructure is to house living areas, offices, cooking areas, and essential stores. On this page, we are generalizing accommodation. There is no hard and fast rule as to where to place cabins, offices, etc. It is just a big building and all essential things are inside protected from weather. I have added pictures below from a ship's plan to give you general idea. Superstructure consists of navigation bridge. It has all equipment needed for safe navigation. It is also known as wheelhouse as it houses steering wheel. Bridge is enclosed and protected from weather and placed forward for good unobstructed visibility. Ideally, bridge should have 3600 view. Most of the equipments like fire pumps, main engine, and power generators can be operated from here. It will have sitting arrangements for duty officers, coffee-making arrangements, and a toilet. 
Portholes have wipers to counter rain and snow and is the topmost enclosed deck. Cabins. These are comfortable living spaces with air conditioning and heating. A bed, sofa, working table, etc. are provided. Bathroom and toilet is attached. All furniture is attached or anchored to the deck to prevent ill effects or movement of rolling and pitching. Every cabin has portholes and curtains. They are designed for ease of cleaning. Normally, senior officers' cabins are large and have separate bedrooms. Captain's cabin may have his office and conference room attached. Normally, captain's deck has accommodation for the captain, owners or pilots, and chief engineer. Deck underneath will have remaining officers. Galley Food is cooked here. It is attached to various provision stores, like dry provision stores, cold rooms, like huge refrigerators maintained at different temperatures, and handling rooms. Galley has all equipment required for cooking and baking. It has exhaust fans and trunking to remove smoke and cooking odors. Hot plates are electric. Securing arrangements are provided for pots and pans to counter rolling and pitching of the ship. Pantry Pantry is an adjoining compartment of the galley. Cooked food is given finishing touches here before being served on the table. No cooking equipment is allowed here. There is hot water arrangement for making coffee or noodles, bread, butter, fruit juices, cold meats, milk, cheese, etc. are stored in a refrigerator. Serving and eating plates, glasses, cutlery, etc. are also stored here. Dining salons. These are the places where people eat food. Sometimes they are referred to as mess rooms. There is a place for everyone. As expected, all chairs and other furniture is anchored to the deck to prevent movement in the sea. Recreation rooms. They are meant for recreation. They have bar, games, music system, TV, etc. On modern ships, you can expect Xbox and movie library. Most of the ships have internet connection. This is a cozy place. Games room and gymnasium. Most of the ships have them with modern equipment. Hospital. It is an isolated compartment for a sick person where independent ventilation system is present. Ships need lots of small stores. Most of them find some place in accommodation. However, no hazardous material is kept inside accommodation. Typically, you will see mate's locker, second officer's locker, LSA and FFA locker, engineer store, Ejo's locker, medical chest, and so on. Stores are required to store spare parts and consumable commodities. Bonded stores. Duty-free goods like wines, liquor, and chocolates are kept here. Beer lockers may be separate stores with temperature control. Meat and fish rooms. These are maintained at negative 180 Celsius to negative 240 Celsius temperatures. Vegetable rooms. Here temperatures are 30 Celsius to 60 Celsius. Dry Provision Store Even though it is for dry provisions, most of the ships maintain about 60 Celsius temperature to avoid insects. Laundry There will be few automatic laundry machines with dryers. You also will find drying rooms attached to the laundry. Drying room has heaters heating it to 450 Celsius. As expected, you will find electric irons for pressing garments. Garbage Locker you are not allowed to dump garbage overboard. Garbage is kept in safe place till it is discharged ashore for proper disposal. Offices. In addition to captain's office, there will be more offices. Cargo office is generally on main deck, easily accessible from deck. It is used by shore personnel and often known as tally room. It also comes with a toilet. Ship's office is a large office shared by all officers. It may have a special section for cargo-related activities. Most of the officers have their drawers to keep documents. You will find computers, printers, and scanners here. You also will find all important plans, manuals, and wall charts in ship's office. Cargo Control Room This will be part of accommodation on tankers and special goods carriers. All cargo-related equipment is monitored and operated from here. Ship may have more things in accommodation.